What's going on everybody? Justin here, X4 Prospecting. It's the weekend. You know what that means. We are back at the creek looking for more gold. It's me, John, he's currently way upstream right now. Will slept in again, so he's on his way. And Steven is also on his way. So we're gonna have the full crew here today. And we're gonna do a lot of digging. Hopefully gonna find a lot of gold. Stay tuned and I uh, hope you enjoy this episode. Yeah, I forgot my uh, I'm digging it shirt, but I got this nice little uh, sweatshirt here. It says, I'm digging it. So I'm digging this. Um, yeah, John is upstream. Will and Steven are both on their way. So as soon as they get here, uh, we'll come back to you guys. I've already got one bucket filled up, ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and fill up two more buckets, and uh, we'll do a three-bucket run to begin the day. All right. We'll come back. showed up internal compass of NC he's up here working around the bend his first test pan how many colors was in that pan one of the better pans I've ever done he said it was one of the better pans he's ever done so that's that's good we try to get maybe two buckets per run I think yeah and Steven is on his way right now so he also slept in. <laughs> um, I've got three buckets down the way ready to run. That's going to be uh, our first cleanup. So we're going to go ahead and get down to the, to the box and start running some material. All right, we have three buckets. We're going to go ahead and put this loose box to the test. I wanted to be able to run a lot of buckets at once and uh, this box right here will handle it. As you can see, I've got a lot of different colors of Dream Mat. Got blue, purple, black, gray. That blue looks pretty slick though, doesn't it? And we got the micro mat up in the front doing its thing. So, let's go ahead and uh, run these three buckets and uh, see how we do.
All right, the sluice is running very nicely. Taking a little bit longer to clear out. Water level's pretty low. But we're making do with what we have, and uh, we just finished bucket number one. So I'm going to run these two other buckets, and I'll come back to you guys. All right, so John showed up and Steven showed up. Steven set up right above me. John is still way up creek. He just walked down here to say what's up to all of us. They're both right up there. But I just got done running, uh, running all three of those buckets. And let me show you how we did. Here is the cleanup. It's pretty good. A lot of nice chunkier bits in there. Not as much of the flower gold though. So I think I'm just gonna stick to doing two buckets from here on out. All right, we'll come back. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fill two more buckets up and get ready to run them. Alright guys, I got another half bucket here filled up, ready to run. I just want to make sure I'm still on that uh, nice flower gold deposit area. So I'm just going to do a half bucket and pan it out and we'll see where we stand after I do this bucket. Going over here, check on Steven. See how he's doing. He's got his uh, new RDH 10 inch loose here. Looks like it's running really nice. Heck yeah. Yeah, I figure I got it. I might as well use it. Huh? That's right. <laughs> it's looking pretty good. Alright, let's go up a little farther and find Will. What's going on, Will? Um, you do? Heck yeah. Well, I, guess, I guess we'll stay around for that. Might as well. You're dang right about that. Come back to you guys once he's got that uh, work down. What do you say, Will? I'm happy with it, buddy. You digging it? I'm digging it. Yeah, I'm digging that too. It's pretty good. Not bad for a clean out. First not, one of the day. Not bad at all. Need 10 more of those. That's right. All right. We're going to go back down there and run bucket number four. All right, bucket number four. Here we go. I got all the air bubbles out. That's something you definitely want to make sure you do with the micro cell dream mat. Tell you what, it's nice having the whole crew here. I guess we're gonna have to get Steven and I'm digging it shirt. All right, we're gonna run the rest of this bucket and I'll come back and show you what we have. All right, we have our cleanup from run or bucket number four. And boy, looks like we're still on the gold. Look at that, some nice chunky bits in there too. Oh yeah, 
A lot of shotgun pellets. We must be getting close to bedrock. All right, I'm gonna snuff that up and fill up a couple more buckets. All right, I got a free tip for you guys. If you run across a lot of clay, and in this case quartz, with clay caked onto it, use a dishwashing brush and just brush that off. Quartz can uh, sometimes create these large cavities and stuff that it's hard to get into and bringing this along can be a lifesaver sometimes. Well, it'll help you get more gold. Let's put it that way. Then you can fully clean your rock off instead of just uh, halfway doing it. There we go, clean rock. Yeah, I'm a part-time rock detailer. All right, we're gonna finish filling this bucket up. We'll have two more to go. All right, guys, we got buckets uh, five and six here, ready to run. Might be able to knock out two more buckets after this run. I don't know, we'll see. We've been doing a lot of uh, chatting and hanging out today. But that's what it's all about. Out here having fun with uh, the whole crew. So let's go ahead and uh, get set up and start running these buckets. All right, guys, we'll come back after we get this bucket run. I'm gonna do a cleanup after this bucket and then we'll run the uh, yellow bucket. There's John, he came down from upstream. 
He found a uh, a kid's motorcycle helmet. Right. It's a shell turtle, or a turtle shell. I <laughs> uh, got the uh, cleanup from that bucket we just ran. Here it is. Not bad. A lot of nice looking gold in there. All right, now we're going to run that bucket and we'll come back to you. All right, guys, got our cleanup from bucket number six. It's pretty nice. A lot of nice looking gold in here. Look at all that. That is not bad at all. All right, let's go ahead and get this snuffed up and uh, try and knock out a couple more buckets. And I'll bring you guys back if somebody does a snuffer dump, or if somebody does a uh, cleanup between now and then. Looks like Steven's doing a cleanup, so uh, might go check in with him. Yeah, it's Steven over here doing a cleanup. You washed it back yet? Will you run in some uh, dirt right now, Will? Yeah. All right. We'll go over there and watch Will run some dirt. We'll come back. Yeah, All righty. That bucket. But it's still exchanging. I'm not getting a whole lot of visible gold up there either. Well, are you digging it? I'm digging it, buddy. It's good to oh, hear. Yeah, right, we got Steven here. He just did a clean up. Look at this gold right in there. Turn it that way. Oh, yeah, we got some gold up in there. Some nice gold. Definitely not bad. Chunky bit right here. Yeah, it's pretty good. That is a nice little chunky bit, ain't it? It is. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys, we're going to get back down there and see if we can knock out two more buckets before we have to roll out. All right, guys, we have two more buckets ready to run. These are going to be the last two buckets I run today. So we have bucket seven and bucket eight. All right, let's get to it.
All right, we're gonna run uh, buckets seven and eight together, and then we'll come back with a final cleanup from these two buckets, and then we'll do our snuffer dump and check in with everybody else and see how they did. So, we'll be back. There's Mr. Internal Compass himself. He got a he got a behind the scenes look at the uh, the last run of the day before you guys did. We did, and uh, we put one of Justin's theories to the, the test, and as yeah. always, he's right. We were uh, we were testing the theory that the last run of the day is the best run when it pans out, and well, in this case, that theory is true like usual <sighs> this is a very good run look at all that gold I've had snuffer dumps worse than that that's a heck of a lot of gold I'm digging it guys I'm digging that sluice I'm digging John Will and Steven being out here today and guys, you know what else I'm digging? I'm digging all of you that subscribed and have supported my channel. Thanks to you guys, we just hit 1,000 subscribers last night. Couldn't do it without uh, all you guys. And of course, Will, Steven, and John, wherever John is upstream. So, a sincere thank you from me and all of us here. All right, guys, we'll come back with our snuffer dump. All right, guys. It's getting late in the afternoon here. Everybody just saw my snuffer dump. I'm about to show you guys how we did. I'll tell you what, we did pretty good. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, get all packed up, and I'll come back to you guys. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for me today on the creek. Hope you enjoyed this uh, adventure with uh, myself, John, Will and Steven we had the whole crew here today and uh, we were all out here digging it and finding some gold while we were doing it so win-win scenario there um, if you're out there digging it like we are let me know in the comments below and we'll catch you guys at home on the scales and with that we are out all right guys we have the cleanup from March 26 uh, I think it's the second to last cleanup for March. Um, got the uh, gold here all separated, dried out, ready to weigh up. Let's see how we did. I'm just gonna go with a 0.27 on that keeps fluctuating between 0.268 and 0.272 to 273 as you can see so we'll just round it out to a 0.27 that is not bad at all and we still have one more cleanup to go uh, before the end of March then I'll come back in that video and uh, show you how we do for our March totals Alright guys, if you're digging this episode, let me know in the comments below, and we'll catch you on the next episode. And with that, we are out.